Yes. Hey, love. Hi, Coach. How, How are, are you? you? Let me get this higher. Good, thank you. Awesome. Happy, happy Friday. Happy Friday. Looking cute. Thank you. I was like, you know what, girl? You, you've been bumming all week. Go ahead and spruce up for him for what? one time. One time for the one time. I know that's right. I think I might need my other. I feel like I'm up too high. Give me one second, okay? Okay. One minute. All right. So, first of all, Sabrina, thank you for being, uh, hold up. Okay. Thank you for being brave because I know you didn't know what this is going to be about today. <laughs> right? Thank you for having me. Yes, but I said in 2024 that I was going to challenge myself more and do the things that normally I would like steer away from. So okay. here I am. <laughs> Perfect. So this is how this is going to go. You're going to introduce yourself in your own words and explain what you do. And then you can start off with your questions. Um, I'll probably have you expound on certain things, but basically just act as if it's you and me, like usually coaching. Don't worry about comments, things of that nature. Just talk to me because my goal is for you to leave with a little bit more clarity, a little bit more confidence, which leads to a little bit more cash flow. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, let well, everybody know who you are. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Hi, everyone. I am Coach Sabrina Smart. I am an empowerment coach, and I assist women um, by literally helping revive women who have gone through um, circumstances in life and feel stagnant. And my job is to help you heal from within so that you can show up at your, as your best authentic self. So that's kind of what I do. Um, that's kind of why I got into it, because I have gone through you know, things like divorce, and I really want to be that person to be able to help you um, navigate through life after, you know, these types of events. So that's a little bit about me and what I do. Love it. So tell me why, when I said, hey, do you want to do this hot seat coaching? Why did you say immediately yes? Because I know what I prayed and what I told God before 2024 came in. 23 was a year of frustration for me. Um, there are a lot of things, um, a lot of times, rather, I felt like there were opportunities for me um, that would have really been beneficial in business. Um, just showing up as a boss, you know, just being there um, for my family, uh, for those in the community, I feel like I didn't really do that. I didn't really show up and I, I didn't really seize those opportunities. So when you asked me, I knew right off the bat without hesitation take this opportunity. You know, this is Coach Lashana. You know, you and I have known each other for a little while and I've always wanted to work with you and I finally get the opportunity. And this time I'm ready to just like, just, just blow up. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. All right, <laughs> let's jump right in. How can I support you? What's your question for me tonight? Okay, so right off the bat, you already said the word. I am not very good with um, asking. Like I know how to serve. Uh, you and I have kind of talked about it. I watched my parents serve in church in their community all my life. So that part is easy for me. But sometimes I don't necessarily know how to ask what I think I deserve. So is there any advice that you can give, you know, new coaches like myself who are just starting out? Yeah. So let me ask you this. What do you think you deserve? So if I am going to be um, working with a group, like anywhere from like maybe up to eight weeks, and I have maybe 12 people or so. I, I do want people to be able to get the help that they need. However, I don't want them to break the bank. So how can I curate a program and price point that will be beneficial for both myself and the client? Yeah, so a couple things. Number one, let me just tell you this. We will never get paid what we deserve. Okay. The blood, the sweat, the tears, the accolades, the experience, the degrees, the bruises, the bumps, we'll never get paid what we deserve. I still feel like there's some kind of worthiness, worth issue going on because you also mentioned, I don't want them to break the bank. First of all, let's stop counting people's pockets. Woo! Okay? <laughs> okay? Right. Because your perception of breaking the bank, Sabrina, mm -hmm. 
It's not my perception. It's not Keisha's perception. It's not Maxwell's perception. You might think that $5,000 is too high. That's breaking the bank. But you have Melissa, who literally is up all night long trying to mm -hmm. figure it out, needing mm -hmm. support. And $5,000 is sweat off of her XYZ because she knows that there's no amount of money that's going to bring her what she needs except for a specific type of personality, right. a specific type of demeanor, and a specific type of gift. Right. So instead of assuming you're going to break someone's bank or they can't afford it or I want to get paid my worth, let's just make sure that we're pricing ourselves competitively, okay. not by the hour, but by the transformation. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a little bit of work on your end to assess. There's a couple things that you can do to look at that. Find two to three people who's doing something similar to what you're doing. Mm -hmm. It probably won't be identical, but it might be similar. Right. Assess what their hourly 101 rate is. What kind of program do they have? How many weeks is it? How much does it cost? Do that for all three people across the board, right? right? Because then we have a sample of someone or some someone's in the same theme, in the same vein, and we can kind of see, okay, Keisha charges $10,000 10, for her eight-week coaching. Samantha right. charges five hundred, and Sally charges twenty five hundred. Mm -hmm. We're just looking at that for data, because you okay. just don't know. The one charging ten k, she could have been doing this for years, or she could have been right, right out the gate and said, "Listen, this is what I'm charging, and this is what I'm <laughs> right. gonna get." We never really know, right? But when you look at that, it gives you a baseline, and then you need to literally, what I love for my clients to do, I do want to know what the hourly rate would be if I did it by the hour, even though I'm not going to, but I would want to know, okay, if this was an hourly rate, and I know it's going to take me 10 hours to do this, mm. and I'm charging a thousand, that means it's a hundred dollars an hour. However, remember, we're not charging right. by the hour, right? but it still gives you a little bit of information on if you were to charge by the hour it would be a hundred dollars an hour so let me ask you this are you okay with getting paid a hundred dollars okay and tell me why well i can i know you said don't count people's pockets but i remember you know those times not saying that i always want to charge a hundred dollars an hour but i remember when i was going through divorce and i remember how things were in terms of finances they were all over the place mm -hmm. I'm still sorting through some of it, but I'm just saying um, in the beginning, I don't mind. Like, I think it depends on the situation. Like you said, the, the transformation, that's the word that I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. Like, what is it that they are le looking to get or what is it that they are expecting? And I think it would be easier for me to be able to determine whether or not $100 um, would be appropriate. But I don't, I don't have a problem with it, honestly. Okay, well, let me tell you this. And I'm just going to use eight-week group coaching as, as as what you what you said even if it's more or less right if you have five women in an eight week group coaching program and you charge each woman a thousand dollars for that eight week group coaching program you're actually getting charged i'm sorry you're actually getting paid because let's just say the eight weeks takes 10 10 hours of your time and we're just kind of giving an estimate how much is that an hour for five people who paid you a thousand dollars for 10 hours of your time in a group setting, how much would you get an hour total? Okay. You said five people paying $100. Mm -mm. And... They paid you $1,000 for an eight-week group program where you, you spend an hour of your time each week. That's eight hours. But then you got some collateral time. It might be a little less, a little more, but if we're just giving a little estimate, if they all paid you $1,000 each, that's $5,000, yeah. right? Yes. It's taking 10 hours of your time. How much would you be getting paid an hour? Right. And I'm going to just tell you. Okay. Because group can be scaled, you're actually getting paid $500 per hour. Right. That's why I was going to That's yeah. why group is so lucrative. Mm -hmm. That does not mean that your target market, your ideal client, would benefit from group. So don't assume me. Right. Personally, I do group and I do one-on-one. -on -one. Some people either A, they're not comfortable in group, they'd rather have one-on-one, -on -one, or B, they've had group in the past, they've plateaued, and they need that one-on-one -on -one laser, laser coaching, right? So right. you get to decide the
the route of transformation. Are you going to start off with one on one or are you going to start off with group? When you do one on one, just know this you can't meet with nobody else during that time. You're, you're literally tra trading the dollars for time. Yeah. Group, whether it's five, five people, 10, or 50, you show up one time and everybody's getting served, everybody's getting fed. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. So tell me this. And we're still working on your framework and whatnot, but how many weeks are you thinking? I was thinking ideally in the beginning, eight weeks. For some reason your your um sound is muffled. Okay. Oh, it's a lot Am I okay now? Better now. Yeah, I was thinking eight weeks, ideally. Okay. So let's let's say eight weeks. And are you the type of person that does a, a lot of like research and you want to create all these resources and whatnot? Or do you kind of flow in the moment depending on energy and synergy? I think I like the second choice better. Not that I won't, you know, do the first option, which is do research to try yeah. to, you know, figure out what it is that my client is needing. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I would think more of the second option. Okay. So I still think that you would spend about an hour of collateral time, of planning time per week. So eight plus eight, eight that's 16 hours, right? right? Mm -hmm. For the 16 weeks. So it's not 10, it's 16. It would lessen your hourly rate. Again, we're not going by the hour, but I just kind of want you to kind of see if you work. Bottom line, you still will be getting paid more than $100 an hour, right. period. Right, right. Okay? Absolutely. Also, I want to tell you this, no matter what, your first pricing out the gate is your beta price. That is not going to be your final price of what you charge for the rest of your life. Your beta right. price is your test mm -hmm. price because mm -hmm. you don't know if this is going to take, if this is long enough. You don't know if you need longer. You don't know if it's going to be shorter. You might get in there. You're like, oh my God, I should have charged 5000 because <laughs> this, this is transforming lives and i am pooped <laughs> we don't know until right. we put it out there right it's true so with with what you're hearing me say what do you feel like your beta price per person should be for your eight-week coaching program hmm. i still think that the five thousand is is kind of appropriate you mean a thousand dollars per person because yeah 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 okay a thousand dollars per person, eight week program, and tell me what what are they walking away with? What the, what's the transformation? So, so, I think that, that with the framework that, that we talked about, they will be able to start from week one mm -hmm. and leave the program by the end of the eight weeks, um, knowing exactly what it is they a want to do, depending on what they're they're needing the coaching services for. Um, what it is they want to do. They should have some sort of like strategy and already like be working towards it. So, and okay. I was just, just going right, to say, I, I, I do want to like have a community also that they can always be plugged in so that if they have questions, like I'm not just going to drop you, you know, after the eight weeks. So okay. there's that. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's, that's good for me to know. So this is what it sounds like and make sure you jot this okay. down. So, so eight week active group coaching with four weeks of post support and what that means yes. is it's really 12 weeks but it's eight weeks of active and then they get that other four weeks to still stay in the online community they can ask questions in the facebook group because they don't need to be hitting you up on your cell phone because right. once you start doing that you're crossing boundaries exactly. so i understand you don't want to just leave them hanging you don't have to but when you pay you pay attention yeah okay yes, i agree i agree so what i'm hearing is you're going to help them gain clarity create a strategy and an action plan to carry it out absolutely absolutely and already like be towards the execution you know phase mm -hmm. well this is the thing the execution could is you continuing to support them and hold their hand that four weeks after mm -hmm. now mind you some of them might be in the execution phase before that, but you got some other people who take a little longer. You just really don't know. Right, right. So what are the three tangible things that they walk away with? Um, 
Oh, we and I, I literally just yeah, said I, to you. <laughs> I know we talked about clarity. Um, what else? I keep doing the thumbs up. It's I'm okay. sorry. <laughs> I see it in the clarity. Um, a strategy. Um, and lastly, support community action plan and support action plan and support because strategy is a process action plan is the implementation right right and a lot of people that's the biggest thing that they need help with they don't have that action plan and implementation support right and that's what they need to help with they don't know like where to begin yeah <laughs> correct yeah correct so we got about oh. 10 more minutes because i'm giving okay. each, each one of my people 30 minutes first of all okay. Was this helpful? One hundred thousand percent. Yes, definitely. Because um, it, you you actually kind of went into my second question. My second question was, is it okay to change your program or your framework to fit a specific client or adjust it for you know a specific client's needs? Give me an example of what that would look like. So maybe there are. Some certain parts of the program that they just don't want to partake in. Mm -hmm. Like for me, I am a Christian and my business will be like a kingdom business, you know, where I will implement like Bible verses, things like that. So what if they are not wanting that portion of it, but they probably want to subscribe to everything else? Can they reach the transformation that you're promising with omitting certain pieces? I really don't think so because if it's like the uh, the biblical portion of it i think it would make very i think it would make it very difficult because that's kind of like what the business are is structured upon which is like scriptural text right so i will offer you know biblical solutions in in some cases so here here's what you're trying to do you're trying to meet everyone's needs and when you do that you meet no one's needs mm. when we Okay. craft up who that dream client is is yeah. someone who is well versed in xyz they're looking for the biblical that meets your heart's desire and their heart's desire if you get someone who doesn't want that you're going to be overworking <laughs> to appease and accommodate and guess what they're still not going to be happy i'm so glad i asked that question. <laughs> yes it's true so what that means it's true is they are not in a line client for you even though they have the money yeah and they want to come in they're not aligned. Now, that's not saying that they won't elevate later, right. but they're not a good fit. This is what they could be a good fit mm -hmm. for. A different product, on-demand learning, right. where they get to do it themselves, and they get to skip and pass what they want. But when they come into your container, your community, mm -hmm. you don't want people who are not in alignment because that corrupts the entire community. Okay. Be, I got they it. Around, they just sort of like, oh my God. You know, nonverbals and the energy yeah. and everybody else is kumbaya. Right. So the answer okay. is, yes, we individualize when it does not impede impact in your transformation, but we don't individualize when it omits a right. part of your framework. That's the whole That's the whole reason why you create a framework is because it's a roadmap for them to take. Amen. <laughs> okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. Okay. Good. Um, my other my last question is i know we have to uh end the live soon but is there anything specific that needs to be in the messaging to attract your ideal client yes so from what we worked on already in in um in our session um hold up if anybody wants to do a hot seat at 7 30 let me know because I have an open spot. If you're live right now, you want to do a hot seat at 730, put me in the comments or hit the request button. So to attract your aligned divine dream client, that's the pre-work that you do, which is what you and I worked on, right. right? And I want you to think about the themes of people that you know you've already supported, that you know you've already helped, that you enjoy working with. There might be a whole bucket of people that you've helped and it worked, but they it's a disconnect. They tire you out and you burn down from it. So that's not an aligned client. Aligned client, for example, I'll share mine, motivated, ambitious, um, positive, open to feedback, right? Um, ready to implement, uh, eager to ask questions, hungry for more. So if I got somebody who's not open to feedback, 
And I actually had someone like that and it did not work. Let's say I got somebody who hit me up. Hey, LaShawn, I really want to work with you. Uh, I see your price is 10,000. I'm ready to work. Okay, awesome. Tell me some of your issues. Well, one thing I'll tell you, I worked with another coach and she she tried to give me some feedback and all I know is this, I know what I know. Right. That already lets me know you're not a good fit and I'm right. not going to try to fool you to the finish you, line. You bad mouth and another coach. <laughs> yeah. a lot of about character. Let me give you another yeah. example. I was working with a client and I told her that we start at mindset and self-care. Right. Oh, I don't need that. My mindset is good. I tried to meet her needs, just like what you said. I skipped that part, and guess what? We kept going back, back to mindset and back Ooh. to self-care <laughs> because we didn't do that foundational There's work no of my around, framework. Around it, right? So right. I, I never fired a client, but that <laughs> she had to go her 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 own way, and we we didn't continue to work together because she didn't want to work on yeah. that phase. Right. So number one is I would say hold yourself accountable to your avatar or your dream client profile that you create preliminarily and then you got to start calling them out is okay. it single mom single moms of faith is it newly divorced women is it women who've experienced domestic violence don't be scared of that right. you have to literally call them out because mm -hmm. if you don't call them out then you literally talk over their head and they cannot find you right right mm -hmm. okay yeah. yeah so tell me from what you know now what kind of things would you be saying in your content and in your messaging to call out your dream client um okay so i know we talked about like a specific age group so i, I may even um like outline what the age group is um are you a single mother are you someone who has worked in a career for X amount of years and you're looking to level up and do something new in life, but don't really know how to and don't know where to begin. Um, uh, uh, what else, what else, what else? Talk about the oh my pain goodness. points. What okay. pain points would you call out? So have you mentioned one, have you gone through divorce? Um, that's one. Uh, do you find yourself uh, emotionally eating? Do you find yourself feeling like there's more to life? Um, and you feel like you're basically living, not living beneath your means, but not really having the best experience of what you envision it to be. And you're just needing some support. You know, you're just needing someone to help you map out how to um, achieve this attainable goal, if that makes sense. I feel like that was kind of wordy, but it's that's just one of the pain points. You know, you just need somebody to help you bring out what it is that you you envision for your life so all of that is good but you're being too cute with it oh, okay. i need you to hit me in my gut oh, hey, okay <laughs> sis, are you up all night tossing and turning because you know when eight o'clock come you got to go back to work and you hate being there are the kids working your nerves and it's not because uh they're bad but it's because you're not happy with yourself and every time they tug on you it makes you feel even more depleted okay are you struggling <laughs> with a past relationship that literally is still eating you at your core because you haven't done your inner work and you're thinking about going back even though you know it's unhealthy right. like let, or you're attracting the same guy let's yeah. keep it real okay because if we talk about, about the cutesy stuff guess what swipe left you're not stop, <laughs> stopping the scroll because you not you don't really understand what i need you you're not you're not gritty yeah. enough for me and i'm yes. not telling you to be ghetto or to be gully but i am telling you to literally talk to me and not at me from a script like mm. give, me, give me the tr true stuff okay and honestly you already know most of us are our own target market exactly so what would you tell yourself right so let's try that again give me something that's going to hit me in the gut so, um, hey sis, have you gone through a divorce and you want to attract um, the type of mate that you feel you deserve? Okay, but pause. Oh. Pause, pause, pause. Okay, okay. Have you gone through a divorce that literally left you broken, burned mm. out, and ready to end it Ooh. all? Specific, okay. Specific. Now, I've never been divorced. Right. But I grew up in a household where my parents got divorced and that shit was not cute. Right. So have you gone through a divorce? Yeah. So have you gone through a divorce 
that literally still leaves residue in your soul mm. because mm. you know that you're destined for more. Oh, because you know, <laughs> I love that. You're destined for more. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and, and let's be clear. We're not going to always lead with the pain points. You can flip it. Hey, sis, divorce is not a negative word. Mm -hmm. You've been able to make a decision that is now putting you on the other side of where you want to be. Yes. I know you might still feel stuck, but what if I told you that there's a better way? Yes. So now I'm empowered, but you're still letting me know that there's a gap, but it's not always negative. You want to do a mm -hmm. mixture so we can see what's resonating. Because right, right now we're in the try, test, and tweak phase. Right. I agree. I, I love both, sense? honestly. Absolutely. Both are awesome. necessary. I love that. So tell me, what did you learn tonight for the hot seat coaching? Well, I learned quite a bit about messaging. I think that is uh, an area that a lot of coaches struggle in. They know what they want to do, but they don't necessarily know how to get the message across to attract the um, their ideal clients. Also, I learned about the ask, you know, don't worry about, you know, their pockets, you know, is, this is for their healing. So it's an investment. I understand that. So with that being said, I feel like I have a lot of work to do in terms of just going over those pain points and just figuring out what it is that I need to say, because there's somebody who's looking for us. Let's just be honest. But it's up to us to set the tone and to make sure we're being clear and concise with attracting that ideal client. So I feel empowered tonight. <laughs> Turn me up. Yes, coach. I love it. Love awesome. it. Love it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you for tapping in. Uh Cindy said that this was good. She said she enjoyed the target market wording options. And this is why I love group and not even because they're saying a group just me and you but yeah. actually it is group because we got people watching it's right. vicarious learning it's true they're learning something about what they're working on just by sitting and hearing us chat and hearing me give you feedback and ask you questions and hear your response so thank you for being brave tonight i know you really didn't know what this was going to be <laughs> um i'm excited for you now you got a head start before your next session with me so yes. like listen you took advantage yes. sister I sure did. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. I have fun. Thank you, Coach. You're welcome. So you can go ahead and drop. Right. I'm excited for you. Good night, everybody. And I do have some. I do got some homework for you, Boo Boo. Okay, I'll be watching. Thank you. So, no, I'm about to tell you right now. Oh, Hold no. on. Don't run. Don't run. <laughs> okay. You're gonna go in your stories and you're gonna share what you do, and you're gonna use some of the messaging that we talked about. Okay. and just tag me okay. so when you share what you do that's when you can piggyback with one of those pain points mm -hmm. if you're newly divorced if you feel like you're stuck trust me i understand but what if i told you there's another way send me a dm click the link in my bio whatever call to action so now you're going to package it and if, and if you're like okay i don't understand just do the best that you can but i okay. want you to take this energy right mm -hmm. now and mm -hmm. go on your stories while it's hot I will. Thank you, Coach. You're welcome. You look cute. Thank Later. you. Good night, everybody. No problem.